guys uh, today we're gonna go over one of the main objective and I would say the very important objective before trying to get your Red Hat certification engineer uh, exam done so it's gonna be the IPA section is I very uh, like to emphasize on that because it's very important for every candidate who trying to go to get their RCE to at least know how to set up their own environment so they can uh, simulate and uh, be comfortable uh, while they practice in it and then get ready to go text the exam so without taking a lot of time we're gonna just tap into it and uh, what I'm gonna do first is just create a simple uh, base image based on the rail 7 and then from there we're gonna put our local repository on and then uh, we're gonna just have a snapshot of that and clone it for the rest of the servers so I created a folder called REC lab and that's in this folder we're gonna put everything there so we don't have to mess up with the other stuff that I have on my VM so let's go to my home and uh, create a new virtual machine I'm going to call that the uh, base image well, 7.0 for the network adapter I'm going to use a virtual network I really don't need a USB controller I don't need a sound card, I don't need a printer so let's go and power this on I'm gonna pause the video for the time being is done checking and uh all right it's done rec it's done uh, checking the hardware so now we can go and continue our installation I'm gonna leave everything as default uh, for the Software installation. I would like to get a, a GUI for to start. Then I will go back and revert that to a without a GUI. Uh, for this one, I'll just make it to be a automatic partitioning. And I really don't have. I don't even really have to have a network here because I'm not gonna try to get any package outside of the internet or something like that so I think I'm ready to start the installation I call it user one Alright guys, I'm going to give another pause and uh, get back once everything is ready. Alright, it looks like uh, everything went through properly, so we're just going to go and reboot our box. to accept the license 
actually redraw it And uh, I would like to register a little time. All right, we have our user ready to have access to our server. Server is ready to get going. All right, so that's pretty much what we're gonna do here. And the uh, next thing is to go and attach our CD, which is gonna be the ISO file to this server. The reason why we're attaching it because we wanna create a, a local repository based on the package that is on this ISO file. So I'm going to be a root to be able to perform that action. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mount whatever is the, in the CD room to I want to mount it to the MNT. And then now we need to create a directory. Uh, let's just call it repo. And then we copy uh, everything from the CD. To that directory that so we copy anything from there in the package and everything that is ending with rpm we want to copy all of that into our present directory it's gonna take a while so i'm gonna pause the video all right looks like the copy is done uh next thing we we want to do now is to go and uh, uh create the repository uh, repo file in the yum that repo so I'm gonna go to Etsy yum that repo and then I'm gonna call it local that repo so here we just gonna name it the uh, local repository Name is gonna be repository for rel 7.0 DVD. The base URL in this case is gonna be a file, so it's gonna be a file, and make sure you have those two slash before the directory itself. And we're gonna enable this one and we don't need to do any GPD check so that's all we need for this file uh, next thing we need to go to do is to go back to our repo and then we're gonna create the repo here Alright, it looks like uh, it's done completing the creation of the repository. So next thing we're going to do now is just go and uh, make sure that our repository is there. 
so we're gonna do a young clean or uh, metadata and we're just gonna clean everything else up so let's do a young repo list and it should show up our repository that we just created so looking good so far so that's all we have to do on this particular base image on the next video i'm gonna show you guys how to uh, clone that image and then uh, create your ipa server and your two other server uh, to authenticate to the ipa so uh, if you guys like this video please uh, give us a thumbs up and then from there i'll be uh, I, I, i'll gradually uh, act appreciate if you leave your comments also uh, things that I can do better things that I'm not touching also uh, so we can grow from there all right thank you guys so uh, before I forget <laughs> I need something to show you also so which is gonna be uh, we're gonna power this machine off All right, and then we're gonna take a snapshot of this machine and we just call it uh, rail 7.0 snap for example and description this is the snap of the rail 7.0 base image take the snapshot Alright, thank you guys. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.